We are out in the state forest today. You may be able to hear some forestry activity taking place on the uh, the other side of the hill behind me. But uh, th they're uh, they're safe. They're well out of well out of harm's way for this test. Greetings to Screet Defenders. Today we're going to do another 9mm standard pressure 115 grain short barrel ballistics test. And as usual, the, uh, the Taurus GX4 is the test gun. And here is the test subject. Obviously these are Hornady Critical Defense. 115 grain standard pressure. Should be a light shooting round. They're claiming 1135 FPS muzzle velocity. I assume that's from a longer barrel than the three and one sixteenth inch barrel of the Taurus. The first part of our test is gonna be the chronograph. So we'll put five rounds across the pro chrono. And we'll get about five feet back. Ten seventy seven. Ten sixty. Ten sixty one. Ten fifty. And a thousand forty two. Well, that's actually, uh, that's actually a pretty consistent load. High of 1,077, low of 1,042. The five-shot average, 1,058 feet per second. That is not bad. That's not the most powerful uh, standard pressure 115 grain 9 millimeter round we've tested, but it's definitely a worthy test subject. So next, we'll move on to the gel block portion of the test. Now, this particular gel block did suffer a little bit of freeze damage. So it kind of broke coming out of the... Uh, it, when, they, when they freeze and then they thaw and then they re-harden, they, they really stick to the mold. But uh, the overall length here is uh, about 13 and 3 quarters inches. I'm just backing it up with a kitty litter jar because I'm determined to capture the bullet, whatever happens. But I've got a sweet spot right here where it didn't freeze and didn't get cracked at all. It's going to have to aim just a little bit low. Hopefully I can, uh, I can pull that off. And then we'll put up the, uh, the four layers of denim as per protocol. Now it's just 12 ounce denim as I've decided to go with, but, uh, yeah, we're get we're, we're down close to spec right now. It's not, uh, it's not frozen at all. It's about 43 degrees actually close to the surface, but I'm going to go pretty deep in there where it's probably not had a chance to warm up. But take it with a grain of salt. These results will be pretty approximate, but I think we all know what to expect with critical defense anyway. Yeah, that shot placement is exactly where I wanted to go. That is dead on. See, and there is the bullet. It has gone clean through, expanded nicely, didn't care about the denim, didn't care about the, uh, the block back here being broken in half or bro broken in two pieces. So it, it went all the way through the 13 and three quarter inches of gel 
to the place where it exited the the uh, the break in the block is actually right down here toward the bottom so from there is just over 11 inches so that's a pretty solid hit and it did in fact pass all the way through and stop just made the smallest little indentation on the kitty litter jar so so just about a 14 inch penetrator and we'll put the uh we'll put the calipers on that Let's see zero that out Forty nine one hundredths, a little bit less. Well, there we've got a fifty, almost a fifty one. So ju just about fifty percent expansion, not quite, but close, close enough. Good enough for government work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna line up and do a, um, and do a bear gel shot on this right now uh just to uh to, to kind of get a a worst case scenario on that on that penetration depth and i think that man, I centered up that first shot so well, it's gonna be, it's almost gonna be difficult to find a better spot to hit it. But I think if I shoot just a little bit to the left and above, it should work. Yes, I think that's, I think that did it. And did we capture the bullet this time? Yes, we did. We captured the bullet with the bear gel shot. Let's measure the penetration depth on that. All right, so right to where that bullet has ended up. Right to the end of that bullet is just about exactly 12 inches so this is actually a pretty good uh this is actually a pretty good pretty good bullet it passes the bear gel test um easily passes the denim test check out that expansion in the bear gel Much bigger expansion from the bear gel. 58 one hundredths. See if there's a wider angle. No, they're all about the same. Very even, very nice expansion. About 58 one hundredths of an inch for that Hornady critical defense. So, while it is a little bit more expensive uh, th than the rounds I like to test typically, I would say that the Hornady Critical Defense is probably worth it if you're, uh, if you're looking to defend yourself with a nice light shooting 115 grain standard pressure round out of a short barrel pistol like the Taurus GX4. Thanks folks, this is Dave for DDR, have a great week. No issues.